It's enormous. Um, it, it's a chance to um, really get hands-on experience and contextualise what they've learned. You know, you can do all the role plays, case studies, scenarios that you, you could possibly want, but until someone's actually knocked on the door of someone with dementia who's completely forgotten who they are for that day, they don't, they don't, you know, really, you know, there's some things you can discuss, but you don't know until you've experienced. And there's a whole plethora that you and I know of other things that they may come across. Um, so it's about um, having the ability to contextualize that knowledge and then you know potentially go back to their trainer uh, if they need to for advice and, and quite often our students will ring our trainer and sort of say I'm dealing with this client today I've talked to my buddy they're suggesting XYZ can you give me a little bit of advice I just need a little bit more information about how I maybe handle that. I, I think the key learning that most of the students come back to us with is that it's uh, and, and they pick this up during the training but it's really reinforced during during the vocational placement and subsequent employment is that um, this is an amazing career and it's about focusing on the ability within the disability. Um, there's so many incredible opportunities. One, one of the things that I, I um, get quite excited about is I like, I, I ask my team to schedule the meetings with the students who are coming back in to sign up their placement while I'm in the office. And I, I don't do that because that's paperwork and you know, I'm not very good at that. But I love talking to them and sort of saying, what's happening for you? And, and the different pathways they end up in and the different roles they end up in. And, and then, you know, now um, having been in this industry for way too long, um, it's exciting when you're dealing with an SDM or a manager and you kind of go, hang on, I recruited that person eight years ago, you know, and they'd come from a mechanics background or they'd come from working at Woolworths and you know they wanted to reinvent their career for whatever reason and quite often it is that or you see these youngsters that are coming through at 18 or 19 and now you know they're in, in senior positions in organizations and that's incredibly rewarding you know I know it's exciting for them but it's it's, it's heck exciting for us too. Oh, um, a great uh, benefit and I think one of the ones is that confirmation and validation that the course they are enrolled in is actually what they want to do so uh, I think that you know they come back and say this is exactly what I wanted to do I really like it um, and I can really do something wonderful in this role so that's probably the big thing um, the other one is confidence they've actually got over those nerves they've observed different things and they've managed different things and they've learned those skills and they've had the feedback from uh, other paid support workers NDIS um, participants, NDIS providers to say you're doing a really good job, well done. I think the benefits are that you um, figure out who you are and the type of support worker you want to be. You get to see how um, really great support workers are doing their job and you also get to see you know how you um, would like to do it yourself so personally i think unless you've got a little bit of work experience and have seen the job in process you are really unaware of what this industry requires from a really great support worker